Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of non-destructive editing in Photoshop. Specifically, we'll be creating eye-catching thumbnails for your YouTube video. So grab your creative hats and let's get started. Let's jump into what non-destructive editing is. Non-destructive editing consists of altering your image without destroying the original image. This is super handy because this gives us the flexibility to experiment with our images without losing our original work. So here we are in Photoshop and I've already preloaded some images that we're gonna to use to create the thumbnail. We have a Whataburger background and we have my picture from when I went to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. The first thing we're going to do, we already have my image selected with me in it. We're going to add a layer mask to this image. We're going to go down to this icon with the white square and the gray circle inside. And we're just going to click it. You want to make sure that the layer you want the layer mask on is selected. So this would be me selecting the Whataburger image. And this would be me selecting the image with me in it. Next, we want to travel over to the toolbar and select our brush tool. The only thing that we need to do is make sure that white and black is selected. With our paintbrush selected, then we'll travel down to make sure that we have white and black as our colors that we'll be using. This is very important. Now, with black, I'll be able to use my paintbrush and color over the layer mask removing and altering the image but not completely destroying it now as you see all I'm doing is coloring on the layer mask the original photo is still there so if I click on the layer mask and delete it the original photo still remains control Z the layer mask is back and the elements of the image that I want to disappear are gone. If you want to add back to it, all you have to do is travel back over to your color swatch, hit the arrows to switch to white, and then we can begin re-adding the elements that we've removed so far. But this doesn't make for a good thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to work and then I'll check back in with you when I'm done.
And there you have it. This is our full complete thumbnail for our YouTube video. And the only thing left to do is export it as a quick P quick PNG. I usually title mine like what the video is about or something significant in the thumbnail. So our title will be Whataburger thumbnail. There it is. <laughs> a stunning thumbnail created using non-destructive editing techniques in Photoshop. Feel free to experiment with different adjustments, different typography. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Photoshop tutorials and creative tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.